This is one of my secret places that I come for collecting chestnuts, sweet chestnuts. Uh, until I have my own chestnut tree, this is the best option to collect chestnut here. And you can see here, we are going to have them with potato and you will roast it just on its own, just eat it. Uh, it's a, <laughs> this is a luxury, I don't think city people <laughs> may have such a chance. <laughs> We live in a very rural area. And I'm telling you, dogs don't like to walk on this. You walk to walk on this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Even people, if they don't have a very good shoe, it's difficult for them. <laughs> Susan, have you found a lot? Uh, yes. Okay. This is a lovely place. Collect chestnut. Ah, oh, it reminds me of my childhood. This time of the year was the time for chestnut. Uh -huh. mm, we are so lucky living in these areas. Privileged. <laughs> yeah, we live on foraging. Mother nature. <laughs> they say Mother nature. <laughs> Berries. Berries, yeah. And people didn't know. The locals don't know that. What is this? They think it's chores. <laughs> <chili. laughs> so that's the reason you can come and collect them. I think we have already collected about a kilo. Yeah. We can collect more. We will just fill it up. It's difficult with one hand because <laughs> <laughs> they are so freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here, yeah, big ones. Yeah. Oh. So, they are practically clean because the dogs don't like to walk on them. Like that one. Yeah, I, I tend not to open them <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't break easily. <laughs> so I prefer just to collect the ones that are already open. Oh, <laughs> did you enjoy that? My secret chestnut paradise.